Lee, top of the league. Mm -hmm. How's the confidence in the camp? Pretty high? Well, the confidence is obviously uh, is high, yeah. Uh, you know, four good results on the trot. But uh, you know it's it's important, and the players know that as well. That uh, you know you, you remain focused. Uh, you, you don't take things lightly, and you most certainly don't take your foot off the pedal. You know you want to uh, accumulate as many points as you possibly can, as quickly as you can. I mean, I've always thought that you know as a gauge, you know how quickly can you get out of 10 points? How quickly can you get out of you know up to 20 points, up to 30 points? That's the way I approach things. So. You know, we've uh, we managed to uh, you know um, get into double figures, didn't we, points-wise on Saturday. Now you you know you want to get as quickly as you can to 20 points and then take it on from there. You know, there's uh, you know it's going to be a difficult job this evening. I know that you know they've been on the back of a couple of you know negative results, but uh, you know it's going to be a tough place to come to, and uh, you know everybody's going to have to stand up and be counted as the saying goes. As one of the bigger teams in this division mm. and, and currently league leaders, do you feel that teams will up their game against you? I think teams will up their game against anybody who sits at the top of the league or anybody who sits in the top six, you know, if they're outside of that six. Uh, so, you know, that's something that, uh, uh, you know, that you're aware of and uh, but you have to deal with, you know, there's other clubs like that in the situation. So I've always said that it, it matters how we think about ourselves inside the dressing room. Yeah, it doesn't matter what else happens outside, it's how we uh, think about ourselves individually as in a group and how we approach each game as it comes. And uh, obviously there's another one here tonight, they're coming extremely thick and fast, aren't they? And so, you know, we're uh, looking to put on a, a positive performance, but obviously uh, getting a positive result. What kind of challenge can we expect from Farsley Celtic tonight? I think they'll be smarting from Saturday. I mean, uh, if, you, if you, know, you know, I did notice, uh, you know, I looked at the uh, the highlights of the game down at Basford, and uh, finding themselves 3-1 up at half-time, uh, they, they would have expected to kick on. Uh, but I'm sure um, tonight they'll be wanting to make amends for you know, letting that lead slip, uh, you know, into a defeat. So you'd expect a little bit of a wo wounded animal. Uh, you know, they're on the home ground, of course they are. And I'm sure they'll uh, want to make things difficult for us, uh, which you, you've got to fully expect. Now it's up for us. It's up to us to um, deal with that and, and, and push past it, and, uh, and you know, and show what we're capable of. And it's important Trinity get some good away results this season. Don't they? We spoke about the away form a lot last mm. season. We know the home form is going to be good, mm. but it's vitally important to pick up as many points as possible away, isn't it? Well, of course, yeah. I mean, it's the old adage. I mean, I've mentioned earlier in the interviews earlier on the season, you know, you want a very strong home form and supplement that with a very productive away form. But no two games are the same. Do you know what I mean? I know I'm repeating myself, but I won't apologise for that. You know, every game's hard in this division. And, uh, you know, it's... Uh, <laughs> You know, you, you obviously want to take something back from from your, from your away trips if you you know if, if you, uh, you you can't take all the points. But you know, no game's going to be the same this season. You know, it's a long season as well, isn't it? You know, so you know we will just deal with every game as it comes, like I said. And you know, whatever the result tonight, we'll you know move on to on to Saturday after that. And one of your former clubs? One of my former clubs, yeah. First time I've been back for I think it's about 11 years. I mentioned to Mark on Saturday, so yeah, still see uh, you know a few faces that I know, but. Uh, it's a bit of the opposite of uh, Nathan coming back to uh, Gainsborough with uh, with Mickle over. You know, I want to walk in with a, a grumpy face, but go out with a happy face. So uh, you know that that uh, that'll be the case if uh, if we go on back with some points. Okay, good luck today. Thank you.